Thank you and welcome to the big sound of our concert in stereo. Before we go along, we want to explain just a little bit about the equipment that we're going to be using tonight. We're going to be using a three-channel setup with the center channel, which is our singers, and our rhythm section being reproduced out our three speakers overhead here. And then our right channel is our piano, our reeds, and our percussionist coming out the, the two speakers on that side. And on this side here, we have our harpist and our brass coming out two speakers over there. And those of you that have heard our sound on records will notice a much bigger sound tonight because we're giving you pure sound directly from the stage with no loss from tape to disc as there is on our recordings. You know, as an arranger, I found that this new era of stereo is quite, an, quite a challenge in that now when I'm writing, I have to stop and think of where the different sounds will be coming out in the orchestra. And I found that it's very interesting to have old sections of the arrangements played where we have piano solos backed up by harp obligatos on the other side of the stage, or have numbers where the brass will play a theme and then the reeds will answer it on the opposite side of the stage. And I think that the next number will demonstrate this. We want you all to sort of visualize that you're in a huge control center out there, and we're going to have you uh, working right along with our engineers who are seated out in the audience with, with you. You'll be meeting them later on. And now we're going to give you the first number, None But the Lonely Heart.
This instrument is called a clavietta. I stumbled on it because uh, we had a harmonica solo in the band one time and we didn't have anybody to play the harmonica. And this sounds like a harmonica, but all you have to do is blow in here and push the valves down, I mean push the keys down. It has a regular piano keyboard. It's a real easy way to play the harmonica. It says on the back here, it's made in Italy. What's funny about that? It helps to put, you can play it a little better if you have an Italian accent. But anyway, we're going to do you a number, do a number, do you a number. It's going to be a great show, isn't it? We're going to do a number that we made a single record on, and it's from a recent picture. It's the main theme from The Midnight Place. Thank you very much. You're very kind. I must confess I've played that better. Well, I'm glad you didn't notice it. I want to introduce the people that gave me the assist on that. Mr. John Lowe on our right on the flute. Did a very fine job. <laughs> and on the other side of our stereo system, we had Miss Pat Collier on the top soprano part. Pat sings all of our top parts, and she does a very fine job. And now while we have the group assembled down here, we're going to give you sort of a ping-pong ball effect in stereo between the singers. And the girls and the fellows are going to answer each other. And it's going to be a number from an album called Young at Heart, Ma, She's Making Eyes at Me.
You know, we've been rehearsing this number for a week and this boy makes this part longer every time. It's a good spot, Ray. This is our vocal leader, Mr. Vern Rowe. And now if you can find a way to gracefully get back with the men, we will get on. You give them a little leeway and they take advantage of you every time. And now we're going to have Mary Lou, the other half of the kissing solo, and she's going to sing, It's Nice to Have a Man Around the House. It's so nice to have a man around the house. Awfully nice to have a man around the house. Someone sweet who's glad he found you Who will put his arms around you And his kisses just astound you It's a night Well, a house is just a house without a man He's the necessary evil in your plan There are many things about him You just cannot do without him Though it's just a constant game of cat and mouse Still, it's nice to have the man around the house. You know that's the truth. It really is nice to have a man around the house. And it's also very, very nice to have a man like Ray Khan of conducting for you. Some of you may not know this, but Ray just loves to sing. He warms up every night with the group, knows all the parts. Personally, I think he's just getting prepared, so in case one of us gets sick, he can fill in, but uh, we're a pretty healthy group. Tonight, I wanted to surprise Ray a little bit and get him to come down here and sing a chorus of his song with me. Now, he's no fat domino or anything, but wait. You know, it's a very funny thing. You'd think I could understand every word you say with all this stereo equipment, but the speakers are way out in front and I can't really get the gist of things. I heard my name. Brief me. What's going on? I just told all those people you're going to sing for them. Sing? Oh, Mary Lou, you shouldn't have done that. I can't sing. Oh, yes. No, I can't. I'm no fat domino or anything like uh, that, you know. You listen. Anyway, I don't know the words to this, so that's the end of that right there. I'm going back and work with the group. I'll see you later. Ah, wait, wait. I figured that you wouldn't know the words. You almost words. let me go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I took oh. the liberty of writing those words down for you. Right you there. think of everything, and on your hotel bill, too. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be a sport, but you'll have to help me along because I'm no singer. Okay, I'll start it out then. Good. It's nice to have a man around the house. Yes, it's nice to have a man around the house. Okay. Just a guy in pipe and slippers. And we'll help you zip your zippers. It's so nice. Oh, a house is just a house without a man. He's the necessary evil in your plan. Someone kind who knows you treasure every simple little pleasure. Like a foolish makes to cover last That's year's expensive. Wow. It's so nice to have a man around the house. Ba-dum. You know, I'm beginning to like this song. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't think I need these anymore. 
I got an idea. I'm going to start this one out, okay? Here we go. Three. Now, isn't it nice to have a man around the house? Yes, it's nice to have a man around the house. Just a hero bold and vicious who'll insist he gets his wishes. Ah, the first to do the dishes oh. in sun. That's not nice. Right. Now a house is just a house without a man. He's the necessary evil in your plan. There are many things about him you just cannot do without him. Oh, it's ten to one you'll wind up with a louse. Wah, 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 it's so nice. Sort of stirred things up there for a minute. <laughs> Wore me out. Now to get back to a quieter mood, I was telling you a little earlier about how it makes interesting programming in stereo to have a piano solo backed up by a harp obligato. And here's a number that shows what I mean. Mario Gennaro on piano with Elaine backing him up on the harp, Chopin's Nocturne in E-flat.
Very well done, Mario. You too, Elaine. You know, people tell us they hear things in our stereo records that they don't hear in our regular hi-fi records. And the reason is that in using three channels to record, you have the sounds coming out over here, let's say from the percussion. If they have a bell note with a brass holding a chord, you get the sound of the bell note coming up. By the way, I'd like you to meet our percussionist, Mr. Bernie Mattinson, up here. Yeah, Where are you, Bernie? I'd also like you to meet the men that are in charge of balancing our sound. They have a, one of their main functions is to see that we get the proper balance between voices and instruments. For instance, brass is so much more powerful than our singers, they have to lower the volume of sound on our brass mics and bring up the volume of sound on our singers. And they're out there working right in the audience, Mr. Bob Ballard and Mr. Bill Blanton. Would you stand up, please? They're surrounded with boxes and red lights and everything else. They're about ready to take off and go into orbit. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yes. Oh, this next number gives Bob and Bill a real good chance to show off their equipment, or my equipment. <laughs> you should know what I'm in for in this stuff. But really, it's worth it, I think, to bring the sound of the records to you in person. And this next number gives them a real chance to bring in the full compass of the orchestra, from the softest pianissimo to the fullest crescendo, from Bernie's lowest timpani notes to his highest bell notes. Here is Yours is My Heart Alone. 